but I can definitely just go over that as well. So and also like a 50-50 problem and solution. Yeah, I want to see how he's going to use like his projectiles or hitboxes to beat out the screen dash. I think like any character that has a decent projectile like that is good at dealing with Sonic's approach just for that reason alone. But, you know, if they can't use that, then uh, it gets pretty difficult to deal with Sonic, in my opinion. Well, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh no, I feel like he, I feel like that was a misinput. He tried to buffer something. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think he needs to do it if he goes freeze right there. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of homing attacks coming out from Tony's a tank. Yeah, just because uh, I think if you don't spot dodge it or roll it out of the way to make it like bounce, you can't actually punish it <laughs> out of shield. Even, but even with Lucas like having such a great nair out of shield, to just uh, still be able to challenge it, it's just a real difficulty to tell is like when he crosses you up with a uh, spin attack. Or yeah, it's it's normally like up to him to like figure out okay when is Tony gonna come in with spin dash normally or when is he gonna try to like mix it up or cross me up because as we've seen every time he goes in normally trash panda is actually really good at just throwing pk fire and tony's been getting hit by it which is why we see these percents that's so much of a deficit he's doing really good at like you see he comes in with spin dash he hits him with pk fire and then it's off to like the, the mid-stage play yeah, yeah also like trash tony's a tank will actually like really commit more using more of the down b than the side b so he's not getting those frames of invulnerability or even that little hop to go over the pk fire yeah yeah, he's also just so far away on the stage doing spin dash that, like, it's so easy for a trash fan to react to it. But, oh my god, somehow he snuck in that back here. Uh, I don't know how he got hit by that one, if I'm being honest. He looked like he was ready for anything. But uh, now, Sonic, with the stock lead, your worst nightmare. Yeah, this is your worst nightmare, is when he has a stock lead. Because you have to literally, even if you have a chance to kill him, you always have to play around his game no matter what. Tony's not really uh, running away with the lead. He's just still just. Oh dang, he's right to that. Wow. He got I caught mean, up in that. He got I caught up in that, but like he nabbed sixty-eight percent. So I would say like it's kind of like a victory for him. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, Tony's still playing very aggressive while he has the lead, which is you know something I wouldn't expect since he's playing Sonic. Like I thought he would just you know it's time to run that clock. You know what I mean? I'm up by a lot. But, I don't know, it, it's working so far. I guess there's no reason to let up on uh, the pressure if it's working, I guess. And uh, I'm starting to see like Trash Panda, uh, he's not really stopping me spinning that just as consistently as he was before. It is a matter of fact of like, kind of like coming back to composure and then looking at his opponent. Seeing the deficit, like he knows he kind of has to approach more, but the one thing that I like that Trash Panda is doing is like, He's kind of just tossing out hitboxes and aerials just to see if he can catch Tony going in for him. And don't forget the use that Tony's been using for the platforms. He'll like, he'll reset on the platforms, being it difficult to tell when he's going to be approaching. But that falling fair is going to catch Trash Panda, putting uh, Tony up a full stock. Maybe Tony also is like, he. He might have a difficult time actually running away effectively in, in this matchup. Just because Lucas has such a good projectile. So maybe that's why he's still, you know, playing super aggressive, even though he's winning by so much. I think that, um, I mean, I, that's a good point. Like, Lucas having a lot of good projectiles, a great projectile game. But, uh, historically, Tony's a tank has been more of an aggressive player. Or at least from what I've seen in the MSNs online. Oh, sorry. I think, yeah, him being aggressive in that stock lead that he had kind of like put him in the situation where he is against Trash Panda. Like that percent has literally caught up to him at this point with the full stock lead. So it just goes to show like his aggressiveness plays off really well even with the stock lead. Like he knows, I don't want to run the time. I kind of want to run the percent instead. Yeah, it's not too huge of a lead right now though. Uh... Trash Panda could definitely bring this back if he finds the right opening. Oh yeah, you bring, you bring. Uh, oh, for one fair on the side of the stage, or no, no way, not the back throw. No, uh, no, no. Back yeah, air, yeah. forward air, nair the, a wrist or a rise up nair, like 
He's got that was his fault. That was all his fault. He had absolutely no reason to do that. Like, yeah. he was already going to come back on the stage, and I think what he was just doing was for style and not costume. Yeah, I don't know why he went for that uh, re-grab or whatever he tried to do there. But, um, good stuff, Tony. Cause say, it's, it's uh, aggressive Brandon Sonic's working out really well. I still feel like it, he's going for this strategy because of the matchup he's playing. I, I don't think it's as easy to run away from Lucas. We'll see what, uh... I feel that because of the distance that Zare and PK Fire is, you're right. Like, it's not easy to run away from Lucas. It, it's kind of like one of those deals where, like, if Lucas moves, what, three steps? He can already hit me with PK Fire and Zare. So it's up to me to, like, figure out, am I going to spin dash around him, above him, homing attack him, or call out the moment that I see him do something? It's, it's kind of like a bait and switch kind of place that we have to see between the two. Yeah. Once once Trash Panda starts to feel pressure, that's when Tony's a tank's really gonna, you know, push his advantage and take as much as he can get. Now I gotta be honest, I'm amazed that Trash Panda took Sonic to FD. That's bravery right there, man. He's like, you know what? I slipped up last game. I know I could do it if I have him in FD. I, I'm assuming. Well, uh, just think about like the way that Tony has been approaching. He's Using down B instead of side B to approach, so it's not, it's very linear. PK Fire, Zare, both linear tools. Kinda yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I just was thinking like, this is so much more room for uh, Tony to play around on the stage than PS2. Like, it's less room from the runway from his projectiles, I feel. But, uh, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. So far, Tony did a pretty. Pretty good job keeping Trash Panda at bay. Uh, his approach is not really being snuffed out by the projectiles as much as they were before. And he's just hitting homing attack after homing attack. Yeah, I think that's something that like is pretty good mix up there. Instead of just going for simple spin and dash, homing attack is like he's able to go around Trash Panda and then hit him. Especially if he goes for things like PK Fire or Zare, so it, it's kind of like a counterplay to that option. Oh, that was a super good lift. He's gonna get the kill for it too. He like did the spin dash right under the PK fire and he like turned into a stock. Oh, taking a homing attack as far as he could. Yeah, this is really good right now for Tony. Another homing attack, this time punching the PK fire as well. Oh it, no. It deep oh, the stage, but, oh, he got past everything. And he's just I mean, that's, that's how he got caught up last time, too. So. Oh, yeah, I know. I was going to say, Trash Panda got caught up in his own directional air dodge. Oh, man. This is so much percent. And it's oh, got to be a difficult like position for Trash Panda because as soon as. If Tony's a tank, like, goes from spin dash into the air and then Trash Panda pushes the button, we're, in, we're getting the instant homing attack. That's, we're getting the free punish. Yeah. I feel like Ooh. Trash is falling apart right now. He is. I think it's the aggressiveness oh, that he's not, that he's seeing coming up from Tony, and then the stock lead. Like he's not really, he's not really ready for it. Yeah, see another S smash coming from Trash Panda. That's gonna whiff. Solid. I mean, solid play. Like he saw, he saw the dash attack. It's not a true combo to up air, but like he knows that Tony's up there. He's got some hits done. Might as well try to make an attempt there. Finally gets the forward air. PK hey. fire. Good opportunity. Finally, we'll stock here. Yeah, yeah this nice. He needed that because, like, the momentum that Tony is working with right now is very overwhelming. He needs to get some wind in his sails, man, because if he doesn't, this is going to be a pretty dominant, like, two stop. Oh, no. Okay, I thought, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. He had to. I thought so, too. He had no jump, too. That's the worst part. Like, if he got that last dare to connect, very likely could have uh, got the stock there. So now he's got to keep working hard to get to even stops. True, Trash Panda definitely got to clock in for the 9 to 5. He's got a full day of work ahead of him. Even on Memorial Day, bro. That's, that's when it hurts, when they make you work on the holidays. Sonic makes you. The bosses. <laughs> this character always makes you work. That's facts. Okay, uh, yeah. He's good, he's good, he's good. 142. I mean, like you said, he's got to work. He's got to work extra hard. Oh, I wow. don't agree with that. I'm sorry. Oh, like, even, wow. though he, even though he barely got Tony to, like, barely like with anything i still don't agree with that option 
I mean, it's a good option for Trash Panda to use because Lucas has stupidly good aerial drift. So even if he lands right above Tony the Tank, still going to be fairly difficult to tell where Trash Panda is going to land. Yeah. I mean, a prominent Sonic would have definitely, like, took care of that easy peasy. Like, would have something like, all right, cool, you want to use aerial drift, fine. Yeah, he definitely could have got a smash there. But... Yeah. Oh, my God. The bravest parry of all time. That's oh, good. Yeah. That's Sparkle. a really good play. It's really Circle with the, the PK Thunder. I mean, it's looking like it's a little bit too late, but so far Trash Panda is still fighting, like you said. He's going to work. 157, he's, he's looking like he still has something to prove here. Gets oh, up throw? Back, bro. oh, up throw? Okay, change it yeah, up. I'm yeah. sorry. That's guaranteed if he gets the trip there. Oh, yeah, man. But this is still... Oh, this is still so hard. Oh, no. This, this if he can still jam? recover, it's he just really good. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, he's oh fine. Up B is ridiculous. The guy who makes it from the blast, so no problem. Yo, that shield looking mighty small. Doesn't Trash matter. Panda. Trash Panda not going to be committing to shield anytime oh, soon. Oh, what the heck? This guy's going for some craziness. He wanted that back air spike. He, at, he this point, <laughs> at this point, Tony's just looking for anything. Just, okay, yeah. back air, forward air, homing attack. Just get hit by something. Wait, oh, he didn't carry him across the stage. Oh, hit. the snipe! Oh. Oh, he's he's, oh, he's gone! He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, give it up Bye. for Trash Panda on the comeback. Right. Yo, clocked in, he did. He earned that paycheck. Paycheck <laughs> of game three. <laughs> With all hope, looks like the... it was gone. He, he just got... didn't give up, man. It looks like he got the stimulus check just in time. His mom called him. He's like, son, you rich. 1,200. The stimulus came through. Damn. That's hard to do. <laughs> That's not easy. Reverse it's three stock with Lucas against Sonic on FD. Like, you know how much you have to get outplayed to lose that? That's great. Dude, if I was Tony, I would not run it back. Like, I, I, would not. I don't know what happened there, but... We it's need to get really, away. I don't. I mean, <laughs> it's not a bad idea to run it back because this is a really good Sonic stage. Like, I don't think the stage had much to do with him uh, losing that game. I just think. I mean, I says think you, got, but oh my! Do you see what happened? Did you see how Trash Panda just brought that? He powered up anime style and just straight up took game two. I don't know what factor contributed to that. In case it was a well, stage, I'm out. <laughs> He, he hit some really good combos, snagged the jump, and then he caught him in the lag of, or the startup of his homing attack with the PK freeze. So like, he just pretty much made all the right plays. But it also kind of dialed uh, from uh, Tony's playstyle of being super like in your face, you know? He definitely didn't had no reason to approach at the end. Yeah. He could have easily uh, timed out um, Trash Panda, I feel. But see how this game goes. Already really big lead right now. You can get it. Edgar, if he plays his cards right. Yeah, nice. Big four there. Hey, using the jump and the homing attack or the spin dash. Going right over that PK fire. Here we go. More ledge pressure. But Tony getting pushed out of the corner. Yeah, no. Trash Pan is starting to find his moves that can just intercept that spin dash. Uh, it's really working working well for him right now. He hasn't got the stock yet, but he's definitely starting to cut off a lot of these approaches now from uh, Tony. Make him kind of, you know, think twice about how he wants to get in on Lucas. Okay. Yeah, with, with the high. way that he's playing, he's working out pretty, pretty well. Oh, but he got snagged there. Wow. I can't believe PK Freeze went from that far. Dude, PK Freeze goes oh, so wow. far. Yeah, but no, he, he's done. He's done. Zone. Yeah, but you know it was not oh, done. Trash yeah, Panda. It wasn't worth it. it Trash wasn't Panda worth it. can come back from literally anywhere. No, I, I thought he was dead. That's why I you thought it was an edge guard. He got, dude, you gotta he believe, home, man. He hit him with homing attack, like right by the edge of the No, yeah, the I thought platform. the homing attack killed him. <laughs> like, that, was, that was literally at the edge of death. Like, he touched it and he still did not die. So we're saying up. buff I'm homing attack? You can actually bring this back right now. So bu Sonic buff homing attack, soon. what I heard. I, I'm gonna be real, man. If Sonic has less moves to run the clock with, I'll be fine. <laughs> Un unpopular, unbiased opinion. It's just me telling spa facts. Okay, well, approaching with the forward air is gonna get clipped, but PK fire clipping again. That was oh, good. Wow. 
problem is good. He forced him to actually change up that homing attack because and that caused him to be in that hit stun when he actually bounced off the stage. Alright, I, I hate fighting Lucas, but I gotta give Trash Panda props, man. This, this guy is mad good. Yeah, making great use of the directional air dodge too, escaping the ledge with it. Only to get it placed back on the corner. Yeah, he isn't con he isn't continuing his air stream, so oh he's gone. Ooh, yep. he's out here. Yeah, that's that spring or that spin dash when he just carries you to a blast zone at the the first half of it is so hard to avoid dying there. Pretty much all of Sonic's aerials except for like up air can kill you. But uh good set, good set. Trash Panda bringing it to game three with reverse three.